Still makes me shiver just remembering it. They trussed her up, blew up the still, and threw her inside there to fry. I couldn't do nothing but watch as they held me back. The flames just kept getting higher. The whole place started caving in. I swear, it's the only time I've ever seen Hickson smile. Burning a woman alive. Probably got a medal for her, too. The last thing I see is they're dragging me away. Danny Lee, hiding in the trees, just looking on. In jail, I heard they tried for months to hunt him down. But he must have found some protection. Always did have a knack of slithering his way into holes, that snake. Aunt Maggie! You're late. Aunt Maggie, I can't believe it. Oh, I don't die so easy. I, I didn't know if you were... I know. But we're here now. And I am gonna make it right. All of it. Le mon ami! <laughs> are you okay? Marcel? <laughs> oui, c'est moi! What are you doing here? Oh, uh, how charming. Lots oh. changed, Lem. Can I get you some soup or... Perhaps something stronger, huh? Marcel, put him in my room for now. But of course. Come on, then. I miss this old place. Get some sleep. We got a lot of catching up to do. Thank you for this. He's a dope sometimes, but he has all I got. Go down and grab yourself a drink. Make sure you get an extra cut out of my side of the business. You've earned it. What are you waiting for? The rest you can remove yourself. Hey there. Made it in one piece. So, we good then? Excellent. That just sent a clear enough message. I'd say you've earned yourself a drink. Thought I'd find you here. What the hell you think you're playing at? It's all right. That was a real dumb move. I don't know what you're talking about. I thought I warned you. You know, all them years, I never realized just how much a coward you really are. You go to hell, Maggie. Oh, I already have. And let me tell you, you will like it. My God. Just look at these bastards, Danny Lee. You think I'll give a single damn about you? I mean, who's this sap? Bartholomew Braithwaite. Yeah, I know who you are. So, your family's running moonshine now, huh? How the mighty have fallen. You're finished. Stay finished. Oh, I swear, next time, you'll burn for good. You know, next time you should send someone more intimidating. Don't you worry about that. Come on. Thanks for stopping by, fellas. Oh, I have barely even started. Come on, let's have that drink. Plank, set it down there. Whew! Permission to come aboard. So, this here's the merchandise. It's top-notch stuff, so be careful with it. Come on, help me get it unloaded. Ooh, whoa, whoa, watch your foot in there, land lover. <laughs> uh, wait, where are the wagons? I, I, I arranged two drivers. God damn it! I planned this whole thing. Least folks can do is show up on time. 
Train's coming in. J -j -j just act natural. Everyone stay right where you are. This is Agent Reed Hickson of the Bureau of Internal Revenue. Lemuel Fack, you are under arrest for the manufacture and distribution of an illegal substance, escaping state custody, running bail, and tax evasion. And today, we will bring the fullest force of the law down upon you. You just can't stop running your mouth, can you, you moronic hick? You need to watch who you talk to. Move in and bag those rats. And bring fight to me. You hold them off. I'll try and start the engine. Okay. I think that's all of them. Christ, that was a close one. <laughs> oh. All right, these docks look clear. Let's unload and get the hell out of here. All right, that's the last one. Oh, thank you. Goddamn revenuers. It's like Hickson's got some six cents or something. I'll find how this got out, believe you me. Starting with them drivers. Can't trust anybody these days. Anyway, at least we got what we came for. I'll see you back at the house. Yeah. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, come on, let's find some cover. Wagons here. Them! It's Danny Lee! Well, this stuff stinks. Well, this is their recipe. I'm not sure I want it. Lamb! You got one minute, Fike. We're out of here. Hold it right there. What the hell is this? You said it was on good. It was. Mr. Caton, I feel like you've been avoiding me. And you must be the Braithwaite. How sad. From prince to peasant. I got guns covering this whole area. Is that a threat? Let me go. I'll call him off. And, and, and you can have Danny Lee. What, Mr. Braithwaite? I can have him. How very kind of you. And I also have $100 right, right here. Well, never let it be said that I'm not a reasonable man. Well, go on, then, if you're going. Why are they letting him go? Really? You're all but finished anyway. I only catch the big fish. Put your goddamn hands up. All right, start moving. Goddamn you. Oh, here he is, the halfwit. It's not really his fault, fellas. His mother drank a lot. You goddamn son of a bitch. Thanks for all this. Didn't you ever wonder why I kept you alive, you born idiot? How's your aunt, by the way? I never got a chance to ask you at the boat. I hear she's looking well. You bastard! I can make that go away. You kill me. You'll be running for the rest of your life. Come on. That present hag is just using you like she uses everyone else. Oh, the guest of honor. Finally. Oh. Oh. Give me your knife. You know, I was so looking forward to seeing you that I got you your favorite whiskey. <gasps> Go on, give the man a drink. 
I'm fine. In my goddamn drink! What do you want from me? You snake! You what? left me to die! What was I supposed to do? Six years. I gave you my trust. My power! Power? Listen to you. You can't see yourself, Maggie. You never could. Oh, I see myself. I can't not see myself. But I won't slink off like a coward. I'll look you dead in the eye. Maggie, please. Get out of here. And I mean so far away, you'll never see me again. I didn't... I mean, I'm... Just go, Danny Lee. Now here, it has good whiskey. And Hickson, good. Now maybe it's time for me to move on myself. Too many memories around here. I don't know. Maybe not. For now, prosper. <laughs>